The brown hyena is a member of the order Carnivora and one of the four modern species of hyenas. Both males and females can reach 160 cm in length and weigh up to 74 kg. They inhabit southern Africa and prefer to live in savannas, semi-deserts and deserts. However, they are very versatile and can also be found in woodlands, mountains and on coasts. Brown hyenas often live solitarily, but they can also form small groups called clans. Each recently formed clan includes the dominant male, the dominant female and their offspring. They can also be immigrants from other clans, but the total number of clan members rarely exceeds 10. Moreover, even the brown hyenas that live in clans search for food strictly individually and never hunt in packs. The inability to rely on the help of a pack has turned brown hyenas into solo warriors. Brown hyenas are primarily scavengers, but also highly aggressive opportunistic predators. They are not good at hunting fast and agile prey, but are superbly adapted to steal prey from other predators. Cheetahs and leopards are one of the most common opponents and usually leave their prey without serious resistance. Besides incredibly strong jaws, brown hyenas have long hair, which excellently protects them from the claws and teeth of enemies. The hardest part is not to steal prey, but to find it. Big cats prefer not to risk in a fight, because even a small injury can lead to the inability to hunt and starvation, while an injured hyena can survive by feeding on carrion. Highly social predators are much more dangerous opponents. African wild dogs are not as strong as brown hyenas, but they can form huge packs. They don't leave their prey as easily as cheetahs and leopards, but brown hyenas can be so persistent that an entire pack has to retreat. One of the predators that brown hyenas prefer never to confront are spotted hyenas. They not only live in big clans, but are also significantly stronger than brown hyenas. Spotted hyenas can attack and even kill brown hyenas, but such cases are rare and encounters usually end without a fight.
the most dangerous natural enemies of Brown Hyenas are lions. An adult lion can weigh three times more than a brown hyena, so the only way for a hyena to survive is to run. Fortunately for hyenas, lions usually don't kill them, but just chase them for training. Unlike spotted hyenas, brown hyenas try to avoid any encounters with lions and are only interested in the leftovers of their food. Despite being much smaller than lions, brown hyenas have almost as powerful jaws and even stronger teeth, which allow them to crush most bones they can find. Not all predators avoid or try to attack brown hyenas. Some of them have learned to benefit from living nearby. Jackals are small and agile predators with great ecological flexibility. Brown hyenas usually meet only one species, the black-backed jackal. These jackals live either solitary or in pairs and rarely weigh more than 10 kilograms. However, they are quite brave and not afraid to get close to big predators. Brown hyenas usually don't pay much attention to jackals, even if they are very annoying. But stealing food is unacceptable. In turn, hyenas can steal food from jackals. Brown hyenas and jackals are more resistant to the lack of water than most other African predators. They can survive even in one of the driest places on Earth. The Namib Desert is located on the western coast of southern Africa. Brown hyenas are mostly found near the coastline, where they live among rocks or even in abandoned ghost towns. There are no significant sources of fresh water, but hyenas can absorb most of the water they need from their food. They eat almost anything they can find, including carcasses of seabirds and fish. But the most important food source here are cape fossils. They inhabit the coast all year round, so hyenas can always look for the dead ones or hunt the young.
The history of each clan starts when a single female decides to leave her native clan and travel to a new area. She must meet a solitary male that will join her and become the father of her first offspring. To avoid inbreeding, females prefer to couple with unrelated males from other clans. When a pair is formed, these hyenas become the first dominant individuals of a new clan. They find a suitable place for a den, such as a cave or a burrow, where the female can give birth. The number of cubs usually ranges from 1 to 5, and for about 3 months they feed only on milk. Then the cubs are ready to diversify their diet, and both parents start to bring them the food they have found. At the age of about 15 months, the cubs completely switch to adult food and become independent. Most adult males usually leave their native clan and begin to lead a solitary life. While most females remain and raise their cubs in cooperation with other clan members. Solitary males can mate with females from other clans while staying solitary, but they can also try to join a clan. They can fight the dominant male and even kill him to take his place. But they can also live in a clan peacefully as low-ranking males and even mate with some females. Brown hyenas are one of the rarest African predators, but most of their populations remain quite stable. The main cause of their low numbers is the scarcity of resources and their habitats, but humans also have a significant impact. Brown hyenas do not attack humans, but sometimes kill livestock and can be hunted for that. However, most brown hyenas live in places of little interest to humans and are protected in many conservation areas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share your impressions in the comments. That's all for today, bye everyone!